Hi, my name is Doug Reagan. Uh, I head up the Youth and Livelihoods Unit for UN Habitat. I'm really honored to be here to, to celebrate the new partnership with SDG Chopal. Um, SDG Chopal really represents how UN Habitat sees the need to localize the sustainable development goals by working directly with communities to develop solutions, uh, solutions to SDG issues um, from a local area, from a local, from local knowledge, um, we hope to be working with SDG Chopal far into the future, and we are really excited to work with the many partners that have been brought together. As part of the SDG Chopal initiative, UN Habitat is working directly with the Niagara Foundation. We've signed an MOU which is focused on how Niagara and UN Habitat can work together in Kenya. We hope to expand that to uh, on an international scale. Again, we are, the philosophies of UN Habitat and the Niagara Foundation are very similar. We see the need for engagement of local communities to come up for, with local solutions um, in, in, in regards to the SDGs. I'm uh, Kumaresh Mishra. I'm former Deputy Secretary General for um, UN Habitat 3 Conference Secretariat. The Habitat 3 conference focused on the Agenda 11 of the Sustainable Development Goals, focusing on safe and livable cities in terms of making the, the urban areas sustainable both in economic, social and environmental terms. And as we see that there is an increasing uh, urbanization globally Already we see that in parts of the world, it's already reached about 70 to 80%. Um, in Asian and African countries, it's much less, but it's rapidly increasing. And therefore the challenge is huge that the urban uh, agglomeration which is coming about, that we should handle and ensure that there is a promotion of sustainable development goals. And to that extent, this is a great initiative and UN Habitat is really made responsible for implementing uh, SDG goal 11 which in a way encompasses because if the population lives there all the other goals are also you know are to be made effective in in the cities environment economic social health e each one of them and uh, so this uh, this collaboration that UN Habitat has done reaching out to a civil society organization the Nagrik Foundation I think it's a great initiative that while discussing everything within the walls of the UN or within the walls of the government is not going to uh, really bring it on, on, on the, at, at the ground level. So if you really want to hit the ground level, if you really want to hit, hit ground zero, I think it's a, it's a great initiative. And uh, I hope we will all take it forward along with the support of the Nagrik Foundation and UN Habitat. Thank you. My name is uh, Markandi Rai and I have worked for UN Habitat for a quarter of a century in different positions including the president of the UN staff. And I am associated with Nagari Foundation also after coming back to, in, to New Delhi. It's a great honor and privilege to be associated with both agencies who have signed today a memorandum of understanding to work to achieve sustainable development goal with SDG and Chopal. Yesterday I was really amazed and I put my head very high when I saw that Niti Ayo, together with Nagrik Foundation and Danik Bhaskar newspaper, agreed to achieve SDG in India through SDG Chopal. I think SDG will achieve in India, then world will achieve. If India will fail, world will fail. If India will win, India will succeed, world will succeed. So I think this is a big bet too, because it is for the people. And most important message of SDG is nobody should be left behind. And this is the last opportunity. 
there will be no other opportunity if we fail. So all 17 goals and 169 uh, targets have to be achieved. If anyone will fail, fail, it will not be full achievement. And that's, that's why from poverty to hunger to education to human empowerment to the environment, all the, 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 the goals are included in 17 goals. Nothing is left, so nobody should be left behind and that is what is the aim of it. Thank you. Hi, my name is Pinky Pradhan and I'm the Director of Marketing and Communications with Plan India. And I think SDG Chopal is one of the boldest and uh, one of the most unique initiative to take place not only in India but all over the world. It connects uh, the grassroots uh, to the regional and to the national and to the global uh, level. It, br it will bring on board innovative practices that are also practicable, uh, which will also mobilize a lot of stakeholders right from your um, you know, grassroots, you know, community to the block development offices, uh, to the at the district level, and then of course the state and the national level. And uh, it is uh, this initiative will uh, you know uh, hold uh, the government accountable about where we are in terms of SDG 2030. I think we are at a very cusp. Uh, we are heading to 2020, and this is a right time to have uh, such an initiative. And uh, towards this, I think you know, Denny Bhaskar has really is one of the flag bearing media agencies because it's it's really brought together so many stakeholders right from your Niti Aayog, World Health Organization, and a couple of other you know uh, organizations which are mandated uh, you know to. Uh, to, to achieve the SDG 23, uh, 2030 and particularly for India, uh, you know, for us to achieve any of these SDGs, I think the participation of the citizen is, is very important for them to be informed in a way and for, for them to really ask the right questions to the duty bearers of where we are in terms of all the indicators. Uh, most importantly for plan it is you know the uh, the, the sdg number five uh, which is on gender equality and we believe like you cannot achieve any sdgs till the time uh, you know it's it's a gender equal world so with this i wish uh, all the all the stakeholders involved in it a very best and i hope that uh, together we achieve uh, sdg 2030 so thank you so much thank you.